Can you stop filming? Because I'm going to warn you. Can I stop filming in a public can place? No, can you stop filming? No, don't be you silly. You haven't got my permission. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to take a look at City Hall, 115 Charles Street, Leicester. You alright? I was just wondering what you're doing looking at me like that. Sorry? Who are you? I was pointing it over there, then you stopped just here. Yeah, because you was pointing it at me. Exactly. I'm pointing it at the building, mate. The city hall. What's up? Are you security? I don't know what's, what's wrong. What's up with him? Yeah, I don't know what, what his problem is. Are you a YouTuber here? Yeah, yeah. This place, it's got a nuclear bunker underneath. Yeah. I never do that. Yeah, it's I know there's a few in the city though. There is roundabouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This um this particular building was built in uh, 1938 and it's got a, a rare nuclear bunker underneath. It, it was to protect the government when there was uh, definitely information worth knowing with the uh, current climate, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But because of that, they're going to be sensitive, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they they're yeah, not yeah. going to want anyone filming it. So Yeah. But you'll see it on DJ audits. DJ audits. Yeah, DJ audits, yeah. Check it out, mate. Yeah. In a few days it'll be on. The Lord Mayor, Frank Acton at the time, he opened this building in 1938 and he said it was a privilege to open this long sought after wonderful place and a stone tablet to mark the event can be seen opposite the reception desk in the entrance foyer. Well, I'm not sure whether they'll let us see that. <laughs> Do you know this um, stone tablet to mark the opening of the place by uh, Frank Acton? Can I have a look at it or? Can you stop filming? Because I'm going to warn you. Can I stop filming in a public can place? Stop, no, can you stop filming? No, don't be you silly. You haven't got my permission. Oh, there's a famous one. Hello, mate. I've seen a lot of you on Tele. You're doing a great job, by the way. Wow, I'm privileged. <laughs> it's not very often you, you meet him. I'm just trying to think of his name. What's his name? Can you can you say owls? Listen, please, just change the record, yeah? You was walking away somewhere, weren't you? Can, Why you, it... can you... Can you point, point that somewhere else? Oh, can you point that, stop pointing that out? Right, listen, I was over there filming no, away. No, no, you've come over towards me now. Do you want me to go back over there then? Okay. No, 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 not even that. I've told you, can you not point that at me? Listen, just carry on with your day. Don't, just ignore me. I'm going to warn you. Anything I, you find... Okay, then let's see. I don't like your um, behaviour. Oh, I don't, I don't. So, you, you know, you, you was the one. Anyway. I can smell cannabis. Have you been smoking cannabis? I got a strong whiff of cannabis just then. Maybe it was a gentleman that's walked did you, by. Did you just... Yes, I it, think you better... It was a question. H have you been smoking cannabis today? No? Why are you asking me? Because I can is smell that, it. Are you being racist? Are you being racist? What, because you see a black man? You, Do you really? Sorry. Do you no, really? No, no, no really. You're going to ask... Just because you see a black man, you're going to ask him he's been, what, smoking cannabis? You're just making yourself sound silly now. No, no, you, what did you just ask me? I could smell cannabis. Yeah, and who so did you ask me? I said, have no, you no, been no, smoking no, no, cannabis? So what? Oh, you have? Are you admitting that then? I'll tell you something. Anything that you find on there, let me just go and... I don't know what your problem is, mate. You just need to carry on with your day, I think. So in the 1960s, a nuclear bunker was constructed. This was one of many across the country built by local authorities to protect key personnel from radiation in the event of an attack, enabling some form of government to continue. 
By 1963, the De Montfort Hall box office was located in the building. This caused chaotic scenes in Charles Street when in October of that year, around 3,000 youngsters queued all night for tickets to see the Beatles. And in 2014, following a refurbishment of the place, the local Leicester City Council returned into this building, making City Hall, as the building is now called, its headquarters. You right, chaps? What's that? Just uh, making a video of the building. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to be in it? <laughs> but do you watch YouTube? Yeah, of course I do, bro. All oh, right, okay. What channel are you? I'm DJ Audits. DJ Audits. Yeah. yeah. Do you know Audits in Britain? Um, I don't. All oh, right, okay. But anyway, yeah. So, what's your story, mate? Just quickly. Are you um, homeless? I'm homeless. Yeah. Right. I've been homeless for about five years now, um, and it seems to me that homeless men in this city cannot get housed. Right. You know, it's so. Say, say for example tonight, where it's, it's a bit windy, a bit cold, yeah. where would you be sleeping? Um, well, normally... In the car park stairwell. Yeah, in the car park stairwell, normally. What, this one here? Yeah, the curve. Right, okay. Uh, normally, I would sleep on the streets for outreach to see me, but it's been raining the past few days. Yeah. And, that, and it's just... So, if, if there was anything apart from money, so say like if, if somebody could give you an object, what would that object be? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Just so I can start building some or You know what? That would be mine as well. Yeah. Because then you can put whatever you want there. You yeah. can have a little caravan just to get away from it all. You or, can make or, a little. Or you can rent it to bring in, come in. Yeah, yeah. And, you know what I mean? It's... What about things like. Um, obviously, you've got a sleeping bag there, haven't you? Yeah, I've got loads of books as well. I read quite a bit. Right. What else, like um, a small object that would fit in a bag, for example? Or a tent? Would you need a tent? Yeah, I'd need a tent. Yeah. Right, okay. So, where, where would you like this tent to, to be? Um, so, do you know if a tent appeared tonight at the car park, would that help you out? Oh, big time, yeah. How many, ideally, would you like? How many tents? How many people would need um, it? Three people. You, so, if we can get you three tents at that NCP car park tonight, that would help you out, would it? Yeah. Right. I'm going to do that for you. Yeah? Yeah. Later on, yeah. Uh, what, what time's best, roughly? About 11, 11 p.m. Three yeah. tents. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because by that time, the town's that died way, down, and then we can make our way out out of town. 11 p.m. tonight. Three tents. I'm going to bring them there later. All right, mate. Oh, thank you. See you later. Thank you, See you later. Thank you. See you later. Subscribe. Yes, I love it. I love it. I'm going to continue the video later with the tents. Take care, chaps. So there you go. We've got a little mission there, guys. I asked them what they wanted they said a piece of land now wouldn't we all like a piece of land eh and there we have the flag flying at the top there get you on the video I'm a youtuber and the, the homeless I'm DJ audits you can do yeah I've got 26,000 at the minute so DJ audits yeah, that's me. But thank you. Yeah, you'll see these guys here, they're homeless and all they wanted, I said, if I could give you anything, what would you want? Because we earn quite a lot of money off, off this. And he says, all we want is a tent. So he says, 11 o'clock tonight at the car park, he wants three tents and I'm going to continue the video and I'm going to give them free tents. Yeah, so, give you all so, free yeah. so you'll see that. What if they ask for something else? I says, you can ask, for, ask me for anything right now and I'll give, I'll give it you. I'll make sure you get it today. Obviously, I can't get a tent out of my bag. This can't be money though because if they give them money they're going to spend it on other things aren't they yeah. you know so he chose a tent so you'll see that you'll see that in the video yeah i was from like get oh, them them things where you, body, where you can put yourself in yeah them. yeah on them. yeah well he was holding a sleeping bag yeah get him a fresh one it probably stinks like shit good idea yeah <laughs> see you later so normal members of the public there that watch youtube <laughs> she just she just subscribed as well what a difference in behaviour to somebody who's employed by the local council. I was just standing in that little spot there and he just couldn't uh, help himself, could he? Then give a member of the public some directives. Do this, do that. I mean, who do they think they are? Come on. And we even spotted the famous guy, which I'm going to Google his name right now. And here we are at the back gate. We've got visitor car park at Rutland Street 
delivery entrance, no smoking. And this is what it looks like. Quite high security in there at the top of them. But you can see how it goes downhill a little bit. Must be some sort of uh, underground car park I would expect in there. But this might be a good one to take the drone over to see if we can see any signs of this uh, nuclear bunker. Got a police car down there flashing its uh, blue lights. But it's not moving. So I wonder why he's flashing his lights for like that. Whether he's trying to get my attention or anything, I'm not sure. It's a nice car, that is. Maybe he was just testing his lights. Did you see him flashing his lights? The police, the police car. Do you know why? Strange, isn't it? I thought he was coming for me. Have a good day, mate. See, even bus drivers don't mind a camera. Nobody minds a camera. Apart from those who think they have some sort of authority. Very, very strange. And here we are at the Halford Street entrance. And you see how the local council wear their signs. Look, absolutely no parking in front of this gate. Absolutely. I mean, we see a lot of signs, but we don't normally see the word absolutely in there. Who do they think they are? Fire access. Emergency Halford Street release only. So it is possible to open the gate from the inside. And I'll tell you what, it's nice to see some clean windows. Their windows are shiny clean. So there we go. We got the drone up. We did a full 360 shot of Leicester City Centre. <laughs> For those that uh, are familiar with Leicester City Centre, you'll enjoy that one. One of the front desk staff came out there just inquiring about the drone, so we, we used the body cam footage for that. What, the DJI Mini 2? DJI Mini, yeah. yeah. 159, which one is it? Is it uh, one, two, four, three? Yeah, yeah. I, I was just talking uh, to them. I said it's 249 under 240. It comes in a toy because I took, um, I was going abroad, so I took one away as well. Yeah, not many people know that. Yeah, 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 249. Which model is it? DJI uh, Mini 2. 2? Yeah. Uh, the, the latest, have you seen the latest one? Bloody hell, it's expensive. 3S, isn't it? W which one's that? The 3S. Digi, um, yeah, uh, Digi Mini 3. 3 or 3S, the latest one. I've not seen it, no. Oh, is it out? It is. I thought that was the latest. Oh, All right. It is out, but it's, uh, I think, uh, 1600 pound or 1800 pound. Wow. I know. Yeah, yeah. I think this is about 500. I know, this is, yeah. this is uh, Do you know this wind? Yeah, I know. It, it's still okay. It's it still stays okay. there. Yeah. Two is okay. Mini one, the mini one is struggle a little bit. But right. two, but three is. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much wind is it. Yeah. yeah. Doing it. Are you a YouTuber? Or? YouTuber, yeah. I'm interested in the. This building's got a nuclear bunker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, is it still it, there? No, it, it was not it, but it's now. Uh, we still have it, but it's like in a storage now, in a storage place. Do they let people go in it? No. Have you ever been in it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, oh, staff can have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's massive, you know. It's it, if you see, it's. Um, is it under here? Under, under, under. Is there. it actually under here right now? Yeah. This area. Yeah, this area. And what is it? Does it go across there? No, 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 no. It's not that like very heavy. There is a thing. But this one's very interesting because the nuclear bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. not many people have seen it, you know. No. So if you have, you're very lucky. <laughs> are you quite high up in the council then? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, we are on the reception desk, you know. Oh, right. After the building. So you're security, are you? Yeah, I'm oh, right. security. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, one, one gentleman came to me. He wasn't uh, very happy with me filming outside. No, no, no. He just asked me. I said, ah, no. If it's if it's mini uh, mini one, two hundred forty nine gram. Yeah. You don't need anything to do. Yeah, I like you. Except except yeah, when you don't film like inside, no, like no, windows no. and those things, no. he's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah. But like at least now he's come across it and he'll know now for the yeah, future. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Right, is he security as well? No, no, he's um, he's uh, on the reception. He sits on the reception, so he told me, you know, right, to okay. go out. I said, uh, let me see. Yeah. I know, I know more about. I've it. just seen Ivan Brown go in there. Yeah, Ivan Brown works yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. I'm very lucky to have seen him. <laughs> just, just outside for ten minutes, and you see Ivan. No, 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 no. He he works from here. Uh, city mayor. And all those directors, they work from here. That's why, you know, we're a bit... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Has it got an underground car park? No, it... it, it when, oh, so, so you have to park somewhere? At the back of this building. Yeah, I saw the entrance Yeah, there. that's that. But you can't see, it's on the drone, you can't see no cars. No, uh, it, it's only like, I would say six, seven, eight car parks. Is it? Oh, right. Yeah, not many. Oh, OK. Not Just many. for the, the big... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, well, oh, nice to very interesting, yeah. So the audio might not be the best in the world but just by luck he has actually been in the bunker the nuclear bunker i mean not many people would get a chance to go in there but i'd love to see it myself did you know that there's a bunker underneath Sorry? a nuclear bunker underneath your shop no yeah uh, do you know for when there's a war and when when all the um, the like the mayor, for example, wants to hide from all the bombs. Yeah. Below here, there's like a big bunker. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. It, they call it a nuclear bunker. The nuclear, that's right, yeah, it, yeah. It was built years and years ago, but that guy has just confirmed it's still there. Yeah. It's, nobody uses it nowadays because we don't get that many threats, do we? Yeah, but we don't know for the future. Yeah, well, look at, the, look at what's yeah. going on at the minute. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. it's very topical. <laughs> So my visit here is just to cover that story and you've got a shop here and it, it confirmed it's underneath here. Wow. And it might, it might even have something to do with these, uh, these here, look. That's it, these grids. Yeah, because they give light down into something underneath. That's true, yeah. Or uh, have your shop got a basement? Um, I don't know. Oh, it won't have. <laughs> yeah, you got a basement underneath? He's wondering why. Don't worry, mate. I'm off. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't want to bring your shop into the video. You can talk to him, but you can't talk to me. Okay, mate. No worries. Have a good. Have a good day, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> so Banner Cultural Products wasn't very uh, interested. I do like his balaclavas, actually. Let's have a look at them. I do like these. Imagine doing an audit in one of them. I do like that though. Do you think that would get uh, a bad reaction though if we wore something like that? I might buy that. So look at that. A balaclava with two holes for the eyes. Right, before we end this video, we'll get the drone out. We'll see if we can see any signs of this bunker. But I am conscious that the wind has now picked up a little bit. So I'm not sure how the drone is going to behave, but we'll give it a go. Switch over to drone cam.
So that's it from City Hall in Leicester. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now. So here we are in the range and this is the camping section and we've picked out, they only wanted three tents. So we've got them three of these pop-up tents. We've got them three chairs and we've got them three sleeping bags. So I think they're going to be very happy with this. Okay. All right, thank you, mate. That's all right, thank you. I've got to meet them at 11 o'clock at the NTP car park in town. <laughs> okay. okay. You're going to be okay with that? Yeah, fine, mate. All right. Thank That's you very much. Is anyone there? So yeah, we went to the NCP car park as arranged with the lads. The time as you can see there is 22.43. So we arrived early, just in case they uh, left town, the city centre early. So I decided to just park outside the NCP car park. Didn't really care about the double yellows with it being so late at night and still being in the vehicle. The plan was that as uh, soon as they arrived, I'd spot them walking up towards the vehicle. I'd get out, I'd get the uh, the tent, the sleeping bags and the chairs out and just take it in for them, do a quick video, a little chat with them, but they didn't come. So the time I show now, it's 23.07, 23.08, eight minutes after the arranged time, still no sign. So I'm wondering whether they're already inside. So I goes up to the barrier, gets a ticket. I know if you get a ticket and you come in and out within a few minutes, you don't even have to pay. So I thought, why not? So I went inside. Went down the stairwell, as you just saw, shouted around, is anyone here? And there was nobody at all around. So unfortunately, I've not been able to pass these uh, items to the homeless guys. But we'll try another day. I have still got them in the boot of my car. And I'll see if I can uh, do the video another time. But yeah, I certainly tried my best. Oh well. <laughs>